time we join Tony Ennis. And racing for the William Hill West Wales National and the first to show is Shaking Hands, a recent course winner. Yellow sleeve jacket from Carruthers towards the right. Red Rocco can also front run, is racing in third. So they jump the first of the 20 fences they'll be taking, not jumping the open ditch down the back straight today. So heading towards the first of the ditches, fence number two in the centre, shaking hands on the right is Carruthers. On the left is Red Rocco, the leading trio. Cannington Brook, a slight mistake in fourth place, but incentivised, make the most of now. Alfie Spinner and the back marker is Haraway as they head towards the third fence. Shaking hands in company with Carruthers, the 2011 Hennessy hero, up, almost upside now Carruthers as they head towards the fence that will be the last in two circuits time in this William Hill West Wales National. So shaking hands and Carruthers up front vying for the lead, they're six lengths clear of Red Rocco, the horse with the least experience over fences, has won his last two starts in novice chases at Newcastle and at Kelso. He's racing a clear third for the Donald McCain yard, the yellow cap. A further four lengths back to Cannington Brook, recent winner of the Tommy Whittle. Black and yellow, a white cap for him. Incentivises next. He's a former Southern National winner down at Fontwell. He's in the green-white colours with the red cap for trainer Richard Lee. And he's racing then just ahead of Alfie Spinner, looking for his first win since December of 2011. He's racing in the blue sleeves, Daryl Jacob, the white cap Alfie Spinner. Make the most of now on the inside for Evan Williams and Paul Maloney, the dark green. And just the back marker is the lightly weighted Haraways in the yellow and green jacket. Also, he loves it here at Foss Last. Jamie Moore riding for Peter Bowen. The front two really pressing on here in these testing conditions this afternoon. And shaking hands and Carruthers still together. A good 10 lengths clear now of Red Rocco, who settles back in third place. So Carruthers and shaking hands. Carruthers rather dived over it. Shaking hands also not too good. They're clear of Red Rocco. Haraway rather dragged his hind legs through the fence back in last position as they head towards the next. So it's Carruthers and Shaking Hands still absolutely together, although Shaking Hands just reached for it. They're clear of Red Rocco. And then Cannington Brooker make the most of now in company with Incentivise. And then Alfie Spinner and the back marker is still Haraway as they go around what would have been the open ditch and then head towards another plain one down the far side. So Shaking Hands for the David Pipe team alongside Carruthers. And Nico de Bonville, and they were clear of Red Rocco racing in third ahead of Cannington Brook as Carruthers jumps that one really well. Alfie Spinner is next with Incentivise on the inside with the noseband. And then Make the Most of Now is going the shortest way. And Alfie Spinner is wide and the back marker is still Haraway as they jump the last on the far side and all get over safely. So up front, Carruthers, the red sleeves and cap on the inside of shaking hands they're still clear a good seven lengths ahead of red rocco in third under henry brook as they begin to leave the back straight behind them on this circuit and shaking hands just ahead of carruthers as they leave the back seven or eight lengths then back to the third horse red rocco who's two lengths ahead of cannington brook who does have proven form in these testing conditions incentivize on the inside alfie spinner is out wider and then make the most of now and the back marker is still haraway although he has closed up on make the most of now as they make the turn for home once again. So shaking hands and Carruthers, both confirmed front runners, have been going at it from a very early stage here as they head towards the first fence in the home straight. Number nine, it was their first. Shaking hands just ahead of Carruthers on the approach to it. Again, I'd say Carruthers put in the better jump, though. They're clear of Red Rocco, Cannington Brook, Alfie Spinner make the most of now incentivise, and Haraway has not really had a cut at his fences so far as they... Head towards the ditch in the home straight. On the right, Carruthers. On the left, shaking hands in unison over that one. 15 lengths now back to Red Rocco in third. A further four to Cannington Brook and incentivise. Make the most of now who's stuck to the inside. Alfie Spinner being kept wide and Haraway is still the bat marker. Over the next they go, shaking hands alongside Carruthers. Still clear of Red Rocco in third. Who made much of the running when he won at Kelso last time. He hasn't been able to get to the front today. He's still a long way back in third place as the front two approach what will be the last next time around. That time, shaking hands made a mistake. Carruthers uh, much better in the jumping department and lands clear by about two lengths to shaking hands in second. The gap back to the third horse is growing, if anything. Must be a good 15 lengths back to Red Rocco. Then Cannington Brook, Alfie Spinner being patiently ridden, make the most of now on the inside. Also being held up, then incentivise and Haraway remains the bat marker in the yellow and green as they race out for one more circuit about to turn left-handed in the testing conditions here for the William Hill West Wales National and it's still Carruthers the former Hennessy winner on the inside for Nico de Bonville shaking hands is 
right up there on his outside. The front two have been pretty much together throughout the journey so far. The gap's about 12 lengths now to Red Rocco in third. Cannington Brook is racing a clear fourth. And then comes Make the Most of Now from Alfie Spinner. Incentivise is next, and Haraway remains the bat mark. And not much change in the order as they go out for their final circuit. Eight fences left to take. Racing inside the final mile and a half of their journey. So it's still Carruthers and Shaking Hands who have been one and two throughout. The pack just getting a bit closer though now on the approach towards this fence. Carruthers on the inside of Shaking Hands and then comes all oh, mistake by Make the Most of Now and he's gone. Make the Most of Now dived over it and is on the floor. Jockey up Paul Maloney, horse continuing as they race towards the next fence. And the front two still clear, shaking hands and Carruthers of Cannington Brook, who's gone into third now, ahead of Red Rocco being niggled along in fourth. Then Alfie Spinner, in no hurry, a gap to incentivise, and Haraway's finding it all too much, becoming detached as they race around what would have been the open ditch. So up front, it's still on the outside, shaking hands of Carruthers. Ten lengths back to Cannington Brook in third. And then Red Rocco still being niggled along ahead of Alfie Spinner. Here's the next on the far side. The front two again together over at Cannington Brook. A slight error that time, but he's still galloping in third. He does stay well. And then Red Rocco, Alfie Spinner now just being niggled along by Daryl Jacob back in fifth place. And they are strung out here, jumping the last down the back. Carruthers, another good jump from shaking hands. Cannington Brook in third. Red Rocco looks under pressure in fourth and then comes Alfie Spinner incentivised is a long way behind that runner as they head towards the home turn they've got four left to jump so heading back towards home still Carruthers and shaking hands locked together and they are still clear of Cannington Brook in third place as they make the turn out of the back straight and head towards the final four fences in the home straight. Cannington Brook is getting closer now in third. The others look to be struggling. Red Rocco out on his feet. Alfie Spinner can't quicken and incentivise behind that one as they come round the home turn. So up front, it's still the dueling leaders, Carruthers and shaking hands. Cannington Brook, though, looks poised for a big challenge in third as they head towards the four from home. Carruthers trying to press on here for Nico de Bon, but at the first in the home straight four out. Carruthers in front for the big danger. Cannington Brook who's making smooth headway now into second. Carruthers over in front for Cannington Brook who went through the top in second place and they're now well clear of shaking hands who's finding it all too much back in third. In fact he's been passed now by Red Rocco and, and Alfie Spinner as well as they race towards the final ditch. In fact he's been pulled up shaking hands. Carruthers over clear to Cannington Brook in second who's still got a good five lengths to find. He's looking rather tired now and they're well clear of Alfie Spinner and Red Rocco as they come towards the second last. Carruthers Carruthers keeps on finding more. He's still four or five lengths ahead as he comes towards the second last. Carruthers, another good jump. He's clear by five of Cannington Brook in second, and they're well clear of the others as they head down towards the 20th and final fence. Carruthers is clear by four lengths. The crowd cheering him on. Back in second is Cannington Brook. Here's the final fence. Can Carruthers get over it? He jumps it really well. Cannington Brook hasn't given up yet in second. He's only two lengths away, and Carruthers is getting tired, and Cannington Brook Brook is staying on in determined fashion on the far side. Carruthers drifting right-handed, but still just ahead. And Carruthers bravely will hold on and win the William Hill West Wales National for Nico de Bonford and Mark Bradstock in the colours of the Oaksy Partnership. Cannington Brook was second, home in third Alfie Spinner, and then came Red Rocco and Incentivise. With his heart on his sleeve, Carruthers has won the West Wales National. Just an extraordinary performance over three and a half gruelling miles from this former Hennessy Gold Cup winner, six to one. It's the second time he's run at Foss Lass, the second time he's won at Foss Lass, both times in the hands of his young amateur Nico de Boinville, who's attached to the Nicky Henderson yard. But of course, as we saw on Channel 4 Racing last week, he rides Carruthers for Mark and Sarah Bradstock in the colours of the Oaksy partnership. And what a dynasty this has been for the winning trader and his wife. They must be so proud of this diminutive horse who gives of his all and when he gets out in front and gets into a rhythm, as we've seen today, he is a mighty hard horse to stop. And his young amateur rider has given him every assistance conceivable. Cannington Brook tried valiantly to pass him on the run-in, but Carruthers today was not to be denied. Wonderful stuff. Yeah, the old phrase, like mother, like son, uh, and Plaid made the dam of this horse stayed forever.